Hello, I just finished filming some stuff, a more formal video like I normally do for the Purple Alphabet, and I thought that I would pick up the camera and do a little bit of vlog style for you guys and show you what we're gonna do today, or actually for probably the rest of the week for our after school routine. So last month I did an after school routine and it was really kind of craft based because it was the holiday season and I wanted to keep everything light and airy. Plus, there was all this stuff at Target that was really cute to do for the season. So I wanted to make sure I fit in all of those crafts. And a lot of you made some comments saying, can you do more learning stuff versus crafts? And I said, well, certainly when we get there and here we are in January and I need to set up some things for my kids, especially this week. So here's the thing that we're working on. It's not necessarily something that I wanna work on, but more so what the school wants my kids to work on. And that is this big long list of sight words and not only for my kindergartner also my preschooler so I have two sets of sight words here look at this this little orange packet is the easier one and that's for my pre-k daughter and then I have this yellow list plus some underneath it that we have gotten sent home every month from our kindergarten teacher so they really want us to work on our sight words and so I thought I'd do some activities kind of centered around that and show you guys what we'll be working on this week so I'm gonna probably pull out a tray here this is my my learning closet which has gotten to be a little bit of mess because I've been pulling out a whole bunch of stuff but if you want to see a whole video on my learning closet I have that just don't look at it now because it's a mess <laughs> but I'm gonna use this tray to set up my activities you guys always ask where I get these trays. Michaels, 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 use a coupon, or you can check out my Amazon store that I have a link to some that you could use there. So for this one, I have to gather everything that I know I have that I could use and kind of get some ideas of how I'm gonna tackle this, especially for two kids because they're at different levels and I wanna do games that they can do together, but then I also need to focus on their specific thing that they need to do individually. All right, now I have everything here on the floor with me and it's a lot to go through, so I kind of want to show you some ideas I have and then how I set them up and prepare them. So, I think I got my work cut out for me, but I'll get through it. So there's a lot of stuff here, but don't let that intimidate you because I might not even end up using it all. It's just some things that I knew I had right away to work on sight words. I have been keeping track of her sight words with this little ring here. These are cards from Lakeshore Learning that came in these little packets here. Look how affordable, it's only $4 for the whole pack. I have both series one, I think that's one, and then this is, yeah, level two. It even comes with a little ring that they have with them. So I use these and have been using these and these are the words that she really does know. But I'll use these first to go through and figure out the ones that we need to work on. So I won't necessarily run through activities with all of these words because that could be a little daunting and we don't want to frustrate her. So I'll go through my list and pull out all of the words that she's supposed to know. And then for my preschooler, this list actually came home a last year when my kindergartner was in preschool. So we've already done this list. In fact, I have a whole box here of laminated sight words that are the exact same ones on this list. I know that they're duplicated. The first activity that I'll probably set up for my preschooler is just a simple match. And there's a couple sheets here of different words. And so I'm just going to have her match up the words directly onto them and then we're gonna go over them together because these are all new to her. So I can say am, cat, at. So it's just a really, really simple matching and repetition game that we'll do with these. Next is something they can do together. So I have this Fishing for Sight Words game, which came from Lakeshore Learning, and it's really great. They actually have two series of this, but I love it because it's interactive. So there's this little fishing rod, and there's this little mat that you could use as a game board. But if you look inside, you have all of these fish that have sight words printed on them. So last time we played this, I went ahead and I separated all of the words that my 
kindergartner should know. And I kept them in this baggie so I knew that these are the ones that we wanted to use. So I'm going to make sure that these words are the same ones for my preschooler so that she can play this with my kindergartner and not get as frustrated. And then I might put a couple that my kindergartner is working on right now in here too. It's just to challenge my preschooler. And so the way the game works is that you just put the sight words here on the mat. And what I do is I turn them upside down like this all over the board, the ones that they need to know. And then when they use this magnetic fishing rod, they get to pick any fish they want and then they get to turn it over and say which word it is. This one is four. And then I'll have them match them up to those flashcards. This isn't the right one, but just for example, they'd find the word four and then they'd match it up. So there's a, a whole step process, but just seeing it a couple of times repetitively really helps them to understand. So we'll do this game together. So, so far my preschooler will do this by herself and with me. And then both of them can do this wishing for sight words together. And chances are my kindergartner is probably going to help my preschooler with that, which I think is great. And they both really love this game too. I have these little lunch trays here from Dollar Tree is where these came from. And I'm going to set up this activity that they can do at the same time, but individually. So each girl will have their own set Set of sight words here and then I have a whole big box of stamps here so I need to find some ink pads that actually work <laughs> and then I have this stamp set you can use any stamp set in fact I just saw some at Target the other day with letters on them this one I like they're all lowercase and they snap together so you see you have your whole letter set so you can pick up the letters and snap them together so what I'm gonna do is figure out the letters that they're each gonna need for their words I'm gonna end up putting the vowels in one little square here and then the consonants up here. And then they're each gonna get a blank book to stamp their sight words out. So they'll find the letters and then they'll snap them together and stamp them in their book. So if they were gonna do cat, they'd find the C, put it together with the A. See how they snap together? And then the T and then they can use their stamp pad and do the whole word like that into their book. So setting apart the letters ahead of time is gonna alleviate a whole bunch of frustration and kind of takes away all the other clutter that they don't need to see right away. So if you just take out the letters that they need only, it will help them a whole bunch. Then I also have these Joe Stampers from Lake Shore Learning. I have the uppercase alphabet and number set. These are the numbers in here, but I went and took out all of the alphabet ones. So as you can see here, this one is the letter T. And then I put them together in this little tray here. So I'll have a little jar of Play-Doh here, which will be for one child and her sight word cards. And then some over here for my kindergartner. And what we'll do is we will stamp out the sight words in some dough. So a really easy kind of thing. And they can do this together, but separately. So um, that's why I like it because it's still age appropriate for both of them, just different words. So what I do is I put everything aside and pull them out uh, as we go through the week. So I have my matching, we have our uh, fishing for sight words game with the magnets. We have our stamp pads and stamps to build the words in our journals. And then some very tactile Play-Doh um, with our Play-Doh stampers. And so now I'm off to go get the kids and we'll probably show you a little bit of video of us doing these activities and I'll let you know how it goes. Snacks are done, homework's done. Let's do a couple of activities while I make some dinner. We ended up having time to do two activities together. The first one we tried was the Play-Doh stamping. And this one was a lot of fun. I had to move it down onto the floor after a while because it was getting hard to search for the letters. So maybe I should have picked out the letters that went with the sight words that they had, but that's okay because afterwards what they wanted to do is just stamp on their own and play with the Play-Doh. So that was fine with me. And then we tried the ink stamping and clipping together all the letters to make the words. And they really liked this too and stamping them into their own journals. And I like that we can continue to do this and add on into their journals as well. The other activities we'll probably get to on another day. So if you like the style of videos, let me know. That's basically what we're doing for our after school routines. I set up the activities before they come home. We put them away in case we need them and then we pull them out as needed. And this week was all about sight words. So click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.